Did like, you ever meet Lars? Oh, my God. I used to hang out with him until uh, one disastrous night when he decided I wasn't, I wasn't up to his uh, partying standard. Oh. oh, really? What do you mean? You, you, didn't, you couldn't? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what happened. Lars, first of all, great guy. We would hang out, and he's brilliant. Right. He's really brilliant. So he's like, he was living in New York for a while. He's like, Jim, let's, if you played some clubs, let's Let's fucking go downtown. We'll, we'll hang out for the night. You're going to hang out, huh? <laughs> so we go downtown and uh, I'm playing some place down in a village. And I find me and him ride down together. And he gets in the car with me and uh, I find a knapsack. Hmm. A knapsack. And I feel bad because it's an NYU student. He's got all his books. And I'm like, oh, this poor bastard kid left all his books. I got $200 worth of books. Let me hold on to it for the night, and I'll right. send it to him in the morning. Well, this rubs Lars the wrong way. Yeah. Dude, why would you fucking carry a fucking knapsack with us all night? Looks ridiculous. <laughs> Get rid of a fucking knapsack, huh? You're no fun. <laughs> so, dude, like, so I got this stupid thing. It's starting to slowly, shit, yeah, slowly irritate him. Yeah. Now I see he's starting to drink a little, and, we're and we've drank before. I've just right. never seen the wild, wild side. Uh, you know, we've hung out and d d moshed on buses and <laughs> in San Francisco, tore it up, but I never really saw this side. Right. So... We're at this club, and, uh, you know, we're having a drink. And this kid obviously knows this is Lars, and he comes up to Lars, and he's like, oh, excuse me, oh, can I, can I bomb a cigarette off you? Lars turns around. He's like, did it ever fucking occur to you that sometime tonight, before you engaged in this evening, that you'd probably want to have some cigarettes, and you might not <laughs> know it, but I work oh really God. fucking hard for this pack of cigarettes, so <laughs> why don't you go buy yourself a pack, huh? So, I'm like, and the guy's like a little offended. He's drunk and he's with some big boys. I'm yeah. like, no, nah, listen, listen, it's cool. I'll get, he's like, no, fuck that. Go fucking buy yourself some cigarettes. So I'm like, all right, let's get out of here. Right. Well, now this leads to, can I see that knapsack for a second? Takes a knapsack down the village. It's packed Saturday night. Tosses it. <laughs> Oh. Across the street in front of the comedy cellar. Oh, man. The thing slams by some chick's foot. It Books scatter all over. He's going, huh? There's your fucking knapsack. <laughs> huh? There's your fucking. <laughs> fuck that kid. He's fucking irresponsible. Oh, He's man. irresponsible, huh? And that was it? Oh, no, no, no. So now. <laughs> We start heading towards Sixth Avenue, right. and on a Saturday night, Sixth Avenue, about one in the morning, is packed. Yeah. Right, you can't believe it. He he turns around, he's like, "We're we're hanging tonight, right? We're fucking hanging." I see, yeah, it's a fucking knapsack bullshit. <laughs> we go walking across Sixth Avenue, and the light is green. He doesn't <laughs> stop. <laughs> he he keeps walking, and cars are literally. Like, <laughs> He's, he's banging the hood. He's like, what the fuck? Get the f fuck you, huh? Are he's we, fuck angry guy. Are we hanging yeah. out? And I, I swear to you, if they wrote the scene in a movie, you'd go, this is a little over the top. Yeah. Yeah. He stepped on the back of a car, walked along the windshield, over the top, <laughs> down oh on God. the hood. He's like Superman. Beyond <laughs> Superman. I don't know what he was doing. He's so hardcore. He, so now he brings me this little club. And... I've always been a starstruck guy, right. so I'm still star We walk in this little private club. It's definitely, you know, walk in this little dark 7th Avenue street. He's like, I think some of my friends are going to be here. Let's go fucking say hello and end this night, right? <laughs> and we go there. It's really dark. I was a little creeped out. <laughs> and I'm, I mean, you talk about a billion dollars worth of entertainers. Yeah. We walk in there. It's Matt Damon. Ben Affleck, Gwyneth Paltrow, one of the Backstreet Boys, um, Dave Matthews. And I'm just sitting there going, are wow. you fucking <laughs> kidding me? Wow. Everybody famous. Holy shit. No one knows about this fucking place. <laughs> if this place were to burn down, 90% of Hollywood is fucked. Right. <laughs> fucked. They all know where to go. And, they, and it was just this group in this little place. And um, it was about 2 in the morning. And my wife was pregnant with my first child. And um, I was like, I got to get home. I, he's right. like, you fucking leaving? <laughs> Look at this party. I said, dude, he's like, are you fucking kidding? You're going to leave right now? Right in the middle? Are you fucking kidding? 
couldn't get him on the phone so, after that night. Really? In other words, you didn't live up to I said, I got to go. I got to go. You're not fun. You didn't party right. I That's didn't right. party too hard. Uh, I'm yeah. a 2 a.m. party. I can make it a 2.